This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. It's uh, 4.34 on um, Monday, August 28th. This is a public safety building committee meeting, and I'd like to open the meeting and call it to order. Uh, open time for the public. Anybody care to speak? Mm -hmm. here. Um, view the minutes. Uh, we have two minutes to review. Um, I was not present at either one of the last two meetings, so I'm going to abstain from the comments on the meetings, the two meetings. Um, one was August 7th, and one was July 17th. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you, Ed, for printing these out. It's always really, really helpful. There are, however, two attachments that go with the August 7th meeting. Um, one is the PowerPoint presentation, which you all should have gotten in the email, and the other was Janet Splamenda's what she referred to as minutes, but of course she's not the clerk, so we just utilized her review, her minutes, as part of these minutes. Um, so if you have read them and can comment, if not, then I don't know if we can or look at or approve the August meeting. So I guess people will need to say whether or not they had a chance to look at either of those attachments. Well, everybody was at the meeting except Mark, right? So if we're if our memories are halfway decent, <laughs> yeah. Well, we are the to... minutes correct? That's oh, really the yeah. more important part. Yeah. You know. But I mean, you would end up attaching the PowerPoint. To That's the, correct. To the minutes as posted, right? I mean, the when PowerPoint you post them. as well, as, and I would post these. And the other part is her notes that she sent out the next day. She called them minutes. Yes, she did call them. Mm -hmm. Did you see those, Chris? I did see them. I don't remember if I read them. Okay. okay. Uh, I mean, I guess the question would be, yeah. I mean, certainly the PowerPoint needs to be attached. I mean, do we take her minutes or our minutes? Well, I, <laughs> I took a lot of notes. Technically, if something was used minutes, does it have her at the meeting, does it not have to be attached to the minutes or go along with the minutes? However, uh -huh. as far as it's, they aren't, anything that is used is supposed to be kept so close to the minutes. So if anybody ever asks for mm -hmm. it, they yeah, can does that have to be attached? Well, I will say that ha having received her minutes, I didn't use all my notes because I felt mm. like she had more correctly mm. captured what she said. So therefore, I let her yeah. minutes be uh, <laughs> okay. in place of any notes I took regarding the discussion. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, how about we start with the 17th of July? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for the 17th of July. Complete to me. I'll second. Further discussion? Yeah. None. Oh, uh, shall I, in, in favor, all in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. For the 17th, yeah. Aye. And August 7th. Um, I just have a question um, about under next meeting, the bullet point next meeting, Monday, August 28th. Yeah. There isn't the, is today the 28th? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm not clear on the remote participation option pending the agreement with HKT. Uh, well, the confirmation, Jeepers Christ, I think something jumped out off yeah, mine, that because I had, <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. So let's propose a change to these. One is, first floor, it should be second floor meeting room. I'm sorry, I must have read it in it from something else. It might have copied in from the yeah. last, the setup. So it's second minutes. floor meeting room, and period, no remote participation option. We had, had no request for it, right? Yeah, right. And then uh, the next part was be meeting after that was going to be Wednesday, August 31st, uh, confirmation of whether this can take place pending agreement with HKT for this day. Because remember, we weren't sure whether that was going to work out. You had proposed the 31st for the on-site visit. Mm -hmm. That's Thursday, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, Thursday. That's yeah. right. It's to be Thursday. Okay. Thursday the 31st. So, so that would be a second. Yeah, that Thanks would be for catching that. Confirmation right. on whether the site visit 
can take a site visit and meeting. Can okay, take so we can set oh, up yeah. site visit mm -hmm. and meeting. Or okay. in discussion or whatever. Because not I think not all of us are planning our need to be at the meeting. I mean she's made it very clear, I think, that it was for <clears throat> the police chief and the fire chief and those of us that want to be and there. The personnel. Fine, she, but had, she had said any of yeah. the personnel that could come. But, but we called it as a meeting just in case a yeah. quorum showed up. Sure. Okay. So those are the two changes on that. Yeah. So, so it now would read Monday, August 28th, town hall, second floor meeting room, and, and, comf and then and Thursday, August 31st, um, comma, confirmation of whether this site visit and meeting can take place as pending agreement with HKT for this date. Mm -hmm. Okay. And meetings will be plural on that section. Is that okay with those changes? Should we make a motion to approve those changes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You did? That was your motion? <laughs> sure. As Second. amended, yeah. Seconded. Okay. Right. Everybody in favor of that? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, anyone opposed? I think that was unanimous. <laughs> so, I mean, the PowerPoint I think was pretty, pretty lengthy, pretty clear. I mean, we sat through an hour of meeting basically, but I mean, I don't know. And there's nothing we would change in the PowerPoint it happened. No. So right. we attached well, we already it, so. voted yeah. for the minute. Right. So, so I mean yeah, I think that attachments that and gets, I'm, gets attached. I believe the meeting summary from Janet is also an attachment. Okay. All right. All right. Then let's do that without having to approve that as a separate good set of minutes then. I think the difficulty to understand her was attributed to her headset, do you think in the I don't know. Yeah. yeah. We had we had some difficulty and with, with the sound downstairs and it was it was funny when she was on, when she was in, in the little tiny screen, it was kind of, not echoey, but almost kind of muted in some way. But then when she was on full screen, it was pretty clear. And then who else? Cindy, you were zooming in, right? So yeah, you I were had clear. no problem yeah. hearing her. So I, it may have been us with the volume on the screen downstairs, so that may be something in terms of my needing a, a tutorial again in terms of where that volume needs to be. But, but it wasn't it was, at all hard to understand Cindy. No, it wasn't. So it could have been, I mean, wearing the headset, sometimes it's supposed to make it clearer for people, actually. Mm -hmm. oh. But I don't know. I, I was wondering that, too. But anyway, it was, it was a little bit difficult to hear, so... Um, but I think, you know, just listening back at the, um, some of the PowerPoint, the video itself, it seemed, you know, okay. I mean, the, the sort well, of I was just part, it was thinking clear. ahead to other yeah. uh, Zoom meetings, hoping that yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to strain so hard to understand her. Yeah. To do a test, Chris. To make sure that that doesn't happen with um, somebody else. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we're coming yeah, on Zoom, everything looked like it was fine. I mean, Ian helped me with the volume part too, and so I mm -hmm. think we we had it, but it was I don't know. It just was a little muffled, muffled somehow. Yeah, like, I mean, it was like clear. Yeah, it just wasn't a clear it's sound. Better than our headset too. So. Yeah, yeah, it might have been. It wasn't a clear sound like I would have expected. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we got through it, so, yeah, and I think, you know, in the in the minutes, I mean, essentially, as I'm just glancing through them now, her minutes, they look like a lot of, just a narrative of her PowerPoint, quite That's honestly. That's right, exactly. You know, task one, task two. Yeah. Um, so I would say that that would be fine to attach those or add them. It seems to me say. that it gave a lot more content than me trying to scramble yeah. that stuff Yeah, well, there's down. no need to redo the minutes if yeah. she's got them this detailed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to say I'm a little unclear. Are you chairing tonight? Is that um, thing? What would you like? Sure. I'll continue chairing for the night, and then we'll watch. Okay. Um, um, I guess the next item is to uh, discuss um, the upcoming site visit. Um, HKT, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a Thursday meet up here and then um, walk over to the police station, fire station. Well, I just posted as 10 a.m. 
town hall, I mean, is that the right thing? That could still be changed. That is the uh, note that came back from Janet, that they okay. would arrive as close to 10 o'clock as traffic allowed. Okay. And come here. And that, yes, because you had designated it, posted it as that, mm -hmm. they are coming here, they can ref refresh themselves a little bit, and then we can move right on. And Chris thinks to the police station first. I guess you two have confirmed mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Well, I think that would work out best, because I think a lot of the, we haven't heard, I thought maybe Chief Fasoli would be here this afternoon, but um, he's aware of it, and I know he's going to be around on Thursday from everything I've heard. and has made an effort between he and Chief Workman, they've made an effort for some of the fire folks to be there as well, so it's not just the Chief. So that seems to be the, the more logical time when many of them, because they work in other towns, that that would be when they would be more likely to be available rather than the morning would be, time. Would be after the Afternoon morning. time for the, okay. for the fire folks, I think, fire EMS, yeah. Is, so your, think, is your staff available in the morning, or some of your staff? Um, it, a lot of it depends, I mean, um, particular day but I'm, I certainly will be and uh, hopefully my lieutenant will be as well but okay. you might have court right. in afternoon are we supposed to um, think about lunch I know she made mention in some email I saw but point her to a place where she could grab lunch kind of yeah, I contacted her, and what I said is because they only have allotted a half hour from 1 till 1.30, I said that I would bring uh, rest, um, menus from Small Oven and Union Street Bistro, Bistro um, early on in the day. They could make a selection, and I'd make sure it was back here at 1 o'clock. Okay, very good. Maybe, maybe my husband can pick it up or something like that. That's helpful. Somebody can. I thought we'd have, we just need to check that neither of them are closed on Mondays. Oh, it's on Monday. Never mind. Hello. It's Thursday. Thursday. Why am I lost? <laughs> Today's Monday. I'm Today's Monday. <laughs> You're all correct to me. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, okay perfect. Great. So that's yeah. taken care of. So I think the idea would be, from what you said in the schedule, that is a couple hours probably touring the, mm -hmm. touring the station and understanding what's going on. And then, was it a meeting then? Right, right after that with yes. the chiefs? Here, I think. No. Well, I think may as well meet, could meet over in EOC, or well, I don't know. Either we could meet, uh, I mean, yeah, we either certainly meet, meet in EOC. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just, yeah, it, it, Whatever everything is fine. Yeah. I was just going to have the lunch here, and I thought if the meeting uh, was sort yeah. of extended, it could be just a lunch meeting, but that was just a thought. I don't care. I'm going to have <laughs> unless Unless they, you, Chief, direct me. Otherwise, I certainly can deliver lunch to the police department too. And anyone who's here and wants to order some lunch, I can pick it up for. Um, and and the place to meet over there would be just in your little. Yeah, which seats about six people. Yeah, that's the little conference room. Yes, luxurious yeah. spot yeah. that you have downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. luxurious. <laughs> okay, yeah. so it might be better to have them plan on. Oh, it's just a lot of moving around. That's all. I'm just trying to figure out. Really well, I'm thinking they're going to come back here anyway, Chris. Mm -hmm. This is kind of light and airy. Yeah, um, that's true. So the plan is to tour the police department, tour the fire department. Mm -hmm. No, then, check. no, police department, lunch, yep. fire department. Police I department. think it's meeting. Meeting, meeting with department. chiefs. So the meeting with the other chiefs, other chief too, is before, right? Before lunch. Yes. Before lunch. Oh, I see. So police department tour, meeting with chiefs. Yes. Lunch. lunch. Fire department, right? Yes, okay. that's the way I understood the email okay. that I saw. Anyway, all okay. right. Yeah, that was as she laid it out. It yeah. doesn't make all that much sense. I mean, I think <laughs> that I think that it, it maybe it's subject to change. Too. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I kind of would have thought the meeting might be after she's mm. toured both. Well, frankly, I, I was a little yeah. surprised to have that in the middle. So that's I, what maybe I'm we can talk to. about that when they arrive on Thursday and <laughs> just see what what the thought process is there. But so we're open to flexibility on the schedule. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, yeah, we can plan on having them come here and then get them over to the police station and uh, take it from there. Okay. Sounds is there good. anything we need to do to prepare for this? I knew I have to prepare lots of stuff, but is there, um, as 
Anybody, any committee does, does the committee need to be here? I mean, I don't know. It's an it sounds like uh, three's a crowd, four's a crowd, yeah. five's a crowd, six's yeah. a crowd. Yeah. And you want uh, I think here. most of the interaction can be between HKT yeah. and the police and fire right. She made that clear. She did say that anyone who wants to observe mm -hmm. is welcome. Uh, and But we're not meant to participate. Mm -hmm. So I think it would be more for our own information, uh, mm -hmm. our own knowledge mm -hmm. gathering that we mm -hmm. would attend. But it mm -hmm. really is. Uh, brainstorming with the chiefs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think this raises a question. If it's it's posted right now, I mean, it can be removed, of course. It's still time, but as an open meeting. But what if there were members of the public that wanted to attend? Would we want them there, or we wish they weren't there? I don't know. There hasn't been any. Well, they wouldn't be invited to speak. I mean, can they, well, just why like not allow meeting. them to attend and not participate? Is I mean, you're going to open up a formal meeting, or are you just going to have her come and speak with the police? Department? I think at this juncture, right, we just want them to, to see our, yeah. The, yeah. The, the functions of our, our places. Yeah, yeah right? it's mm -hmm. specific yes. for the fire at the police. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. it does, it's the gap, but they need to know what, what, what right. you want. Right. And, Right, we'll yeah. give the we public that opportunity public, yeah. during I think it's premature to have, you know, yeah. our next discussion about public engagement. Right. I agree. So the question is, should we depost it? Well, how many of us might be there? We have a, what's a quorum for us here? Six. Oh, six? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I was thinking I would attend because I have everything to learn. They can still post it as site visits. Okay. So should that posting be changed from open meeting to site visit? It's, it's I probably would. Yeah. Okay. And okay. then if you're going to have a meeting afterwards, post the meeting okay. itself separately. Yeah. But, but again, we're not meeting. We're not meeting day. per se. I mean, yeah. I mean, we could be at the meeting just to hear what's going on, but we're not going to be. Right. Not supposed to. Don't talk that day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. I, I think that would be fine. Yeah. I I'm, might try to attend the, the two or three just to learn more. I think I know certain things, but I know I don't know all the crooks and crannies. Mm -hmm. All right. So. I will change the posting from an open meeting to a site visit. Okay. Beginning at 10 p.m. So we will not be able to discuss anything among ourselves as right. a committee. Yeah. No, and I think the, the bulk of it should be looking at the questionnaires that both chiefs filled out and sent in. I mean, that's what I think is going to be a large part of the base of the discussion right. with HKT. I right. assume maybe partly during the tour, but during the meeting afterwards right. or whenever the meeting happens. You know, just to reiterate or understand those questions and answers better. Um, was it hard to complete that, or did you find it kind of straightforward? It was, you know, took some thought, but I want to make sure. I, I actually had a lot of my team members review it and put had their own stuff in there too. So it was a collaborative effort through through me and the, and the, my staff. Okay. And did you find it comprehensive? Did they, or were there things lacking in that? No, I, I found it copy answer. Yes. Good. Well, I think there's nothing really else <laughs> that we have to get ready for, I don't think, for Thursday. I mean, that I'm aware of. I don't think so. She was pretty clear about what it was going to yeah, be. They're, they're, they're running the show. show. <laughs> We're just bystanders, um, I think, on Thursday. And, and they're us. not going to be looking at sites that day. They're only looking at the no. current facilities. No. Okay. I think it's who's going to be evaluating the sites. Okay. Oh, and that is one thing that needs to be discussed regarding uh, one of her emails. Mm -hmm. um, whether we are going to have them look at f three or three four, four sites. sites. Yeah. So, now I don't <laughs> think you, either of you addressed that with Janet, did you? No, I haven't. Can, I think we need to discuss it. Now, Peer, Peer isn't coming out Thursday, though. Oh, but it's she just said she right. wanted to get that process going with her right. and that she needed to know that. Still no word at all on Senior Center Court. Finality, no. Nothing in terms of, and there's been no decision made. But we know we, we know which property it is. I mean, so we could, we could tell them which property is kind of off the table. In limbo, yeah. Yeah, off the table for now at least. Yeah. In think. limbo, but were that to fall through, it would become one that ought to be considered. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and, but, and a lot of the site assessment has been done, right, by um, 
uh, abacus. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think there was an additional budget line for the fourth site. Am I remembering that uh, correctly? I think so. I didn't think so. No. I don't remember. I think we narrowed down to three. Did you? Yeah. And then we, from the three, they were going to pick the top two and do schematics on the top two. Like yeah, but this. then now she's written back. I thought there was an option. Um, I don't have that. Mm -hmm. On the contract. Uh, yeah, on the contract. If we had to add the fourth, fourth. one in, it yeah. might be an extra charge, is that it? I, is that what that's what I am remembering, but I don't have that in writing. Um, but so the, so the question is, do they include that at all? I would say not, I yeah. mean, personally. I mean, I would, I would give them the address of the one that is in limbo and say, please focus on the other three, and we'll know, well, maybe in a couple of weeks. <laughs> well, the hearing's in a couple of weeks, but yeah. don't expect final decision decisions to come until after that. Yeah. Are there any complications to the review that are holding anything up? As far as, I thought it was just a review of the of the of Mr. Parsons' will and whether all the criteria have been met, it it's it's probate court. It's in probate court. Yeah, it's been challenged by someone. So okay, it's in court. so it's gotten more complicated. Yes. A little bit more complicated. Okay. So the first hearing is on the 18th of September. So we don't mm -hmm. we don't have a definitive answer for. It. I think we can tell her that this is the address of the one that right now is the fourth priority in terms of this list. We, do, do we know that we have absolute two they want to look at? They want to look at this side, is that absolute? Mm -hmm. We gave and then the one mm -hmm. of... Um, zero card, I mean, zero, cottage, uh, zero cottage, uh, college highway, right? Zero mm -hmm. college highway, those were definitely two positives. And the question mm -hmm. is, do we want them to do a third side or not? Well, I no, think we good. The Marmon Keystone site. The Marmon Keystone site. Yeah, that, that would be fair. Either, you know, either Marmon Keystone or the one that the uh, senior center is looking at. Side by side. The Marmon Keystone one is, is very expensive, I believe. Not that that should be a reason to rule yeah. it out. So add on optional services B, site evaluation of a fourth site. Uh, under task two, site evaluation, the basic services included analysis of three sites in town which are the town's choosing. It's, under, it's assumed under task two, the fourth site will be the preferred site for the senior center and will be unavailable for the possible location of the public safety building. Add on optional services B uh, can be added to the scope of work if the fourth site is not eliminated as a possible future location for the public safety building. Um, the fee stated for this add on assumes the town decides to include the fourth step, fourth site prior to the beginning of task two, so that site visits to all four sites can be completed on the same day. If the town chooses to add a four site after task two begins, a new additional services proposal can be provided with an updated fee. And the deliverable would be a site assessment report for that add-on. So that's if it's done afterwards. What if it's done simultaneously? If it's done as part of, I mean, there's was two sites right next to each other on Clark Street. If it was all done the same day when PAR or whoever they are come out. Uh, and optional services B for the foresight can be added to the scope. If it's not, the fee assumes the town decides to include that. The fee stated for this, so it must be there's a fee separate for this. I gotta look for it. Hang on. Yeah, twenty-two hundred dollars additional for a site evaluation of a fourth site. The way I read this. So we're we're just kind of guessing whether or not the the review of that Gilher site for the senior center is going to become the site for the senior center or not, we just plain don't know. Well, it's the no, one they've chosen. There's, that is their choice. It so is their choice, but unless, it's right. unless they lose in the probate court review. The, this, this site visit is strictly for a pair to come out and right. do essentially a physical assessment of the sites. Correct. Yeah. And that's the you know, check the sewer mm -hmm. water drainage and, yep. and, and 
traffic accessibility, et cetera, mm -hmm. and a quick analysis of the soils. Um, I won't second guess, but it seemed like uh, Abacus has already done that for the mm -hmm. senior center site. Right. And, and I can appreciate them. They don't pair as one to come out here Again, time just yeah. do one of those sites. Yeah. Um, but I would think that we're fairly safe on assuming that the senior center site has been pretty much thoroughly evaluated as the same criteria that PEAR is going to be looking for. So PEAR needs to definitely look at the uh, Zero College Highway, definitely needs to look at the, the car site, and then look at the Marvin Keystone site. Mm -hmm. Those are three, and then if we hold off on the, um, I forget which one's which, I'll hold off on the uh, Senior Center site. Um, I don't know if we're rolling the dice a little bit, that if that ultimately becomes the uh, site of choice, then we have to kick in another $2,200. Mm -hmm. I guess we don't know really when task two is supposed to begin. Um, that's the site evaluation is task two. Right. That be, she wants to get that rolling. Yeah. Right. She wants to call parallel twice. Yeah. I just don't know that we're going to have, we definitely won't have an answer. <laughs> no, we won't. On, on the real availability of that fourth site. Um, <laughs> so it's either. 2200 if we tell them to do the foresight too when they come out or 2200 plus something else maybe if they had to do it after the fact and make a second trip right that's how I'm how I'm hearing what I read out loud here anyway which wasn't delineated I don't think our price um, nothing said crazy oh. <laughs> I know huh. uh, this is a bad one I mean it's a guess on our part, really. Yeah, there's it? no knowing. It's it's an unknown. So I my to my thinking, it is, it is it is the risk, or is it a it's a gamble not to have it done, or maybe it's a waste of money, and then hmm. I don't know. If it becomes available, it certainly is a viable site. It was central. So is it worth the $2,200 now or worth a little bit more if it comes available? Chris, what was the language specifically about a fourth site evaluation? Mm -hmm. um, of course, no, I scrolled down. So under task two, so this is the optional services, okay? Um, the basic services uh, include the analysis of three sites in town which are of the town's choosing. It's assumed under task two that the fourth site will be the preferred site for the senior center and will be unavailable for the possible location of the public safety building. Um, an add-on for the site evaluation of the fourth site can be added to the scope of work if the fourth site is not eliminated as a possible future location for the public safety building. So the fee for this is stated, you know, whatever blow. Uh, that assumes that the town decides to include the fourth site prior to the beginning of task two so that the site visits to all four sites can be completed okay. on the same day. So that was a condition and be on the same well, day. What it isn't saying, Chris, is that it would be more than 2200 It doesn't say 2200 plus travel cost or, or something like that. No, the last sentence, if the town chooses to add a four site evaluation after task two begins, a new additional services proposal can be provided with an updated fee. So it's oh, $2,200 no, it's $2, just plus something on plus that something. same day. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, for, I see. Wait till later. It's going to be we'll wait, it's gonna, plus yeah. expenses. Right. Right. Like ten thousand. So to right now, travel. the foresight is not in the base price that we've okay. agreed on. It's twenty two hundred if we decide to have mm -hmm. them look at it anyway. And we know it's a some level of preferred site because the senior center folks have chosen it, right? In so terms if, of if they're making two hundred dollars an hour, right? That's uh, roughly what they're making, and they have to come out on a separate trip. And how many people, Mark, do you think would come out? Probably two. Two. Are they so coming looking from at like New Jersey or something? Where is Bear? I think they're all. Oh, they turned Boston. Boston yeah. Oh, they're Boston. Yeah. Right? So we'll say two hours. Well, then they're probably making two hundred dollars an hour. Yeah. The, the mm. staff that would come out here. So, but it, a lot of it's the write up and the research prior to yeah. the write up and doing yeah. the boards and all that. That's you know, and I understand. I mean, they they've obviously had access to the write ups that were done by Abacus, right? But mm -hmm. I understand them. The rationale for their wanting their people to to do mm -hmm. so almost what, the same thing. What would you suspect would be 
an, uh, the additional fee if they were to come out on a separate day, roughly, just just to give us an idea if you if you would know. I don't think the additional. If they're going to charge you twenty two hundred plus plus fees. Mm -hmm. It's a four hour round trip. Mm -hmm. Two people. Two people. Times two, so that's eight, eight hours of, of my staff time. My yeah. figure probably 4,000, something like that, neighborhood. So Additional. So. No, no, total. I mean, 2,200 plus. I mean, getting to a total of 4,000. I'm just throwing out a figure. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Is it, should we, um, I mean, we could certainly go back and ask Janet to clarify what that. I would say it's probably going to be a thousand dollars, eight hours times two hundred dollars an hour, six hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, let's let's look at it slightly differently. Yes, it was the preferred site for the senior center. I mean, the public safety building is a whole different thing, though. It's um, do we feel as a committee confident that the other three sites are potentially good sites for the public safety building? Uh, is it? We, we don't, don't know. know. We well, don't. We're, know. we're relying on them. It's too risky. That's the whole reason it's to hire them risky. for feasibility. Yeah. All right. Then I think we should tell them to evaluate the fourth site when they're here. I think it's worth the twenty-two hundred. Because what happens if she? They do the whole three, and the decision on the fourth site comes through in sixty days or ninety days. You know, quite a way ways down the road. And they have proceeded to do all the work they were going to do with the matrix and the presentations and the public engagement and the whole thing. And then we find out, and I would be very sad because I'm looking forward to seeing that senior center there, but then we find out it's not going to be the senior center. It's thus now available. Are we going to say, oh boy, we, it's the best thing for the public, for our citizens, to say we looked at four sites? I think that's what we keep going back to. We need to be able to hold our heads up high and say, we've looked at everything. This is why we chose what we chose. Mm -hmm. And so it's $2,200 gamble worth. Do we have the $2,200 That's the other question. What, is, what do we have a lot of? Right. What do we have the ability to do? Stay the heck away from us. Mm -hmm. Take a hat. Stay where? Stay the heck away from us for now. Because here's the other side of this. Include it have it done, what if it comes out as the preferred site? Guess what? And the senior center goes through. You've now put the property owner in a wonderful spot of a bidding war. You've now affected our cost of that property. That's a thought. <laughs> I, I thought we were just going to uh, look at that site in case it fell through for the senior center, not uh, that's the whole purpose of it. If mm -hmm. we knew the senior center was going there, we wouldn't even consider it, right? Is that correct? Right. If if that was a definitive So, we so we're just looking at it and spending the money for to see if that's a feasible site in case the senior center doesn't go there. But right. would that be a problem for other people? Is what you're saying, uh, how they would perceive it, us trying to um, look at that site instead of for the public safety building to senior site. I think too, I mean the challenge too, I mean in hearing what Ed's saying in terms of the eventual future cost of that actual land acquisition itself, which is going to be pricey in its own right, but you know, as much as these two committees had started out trying to be parallel, we're, we're so far divergent now, and especially we don't know how long this court thing is going to take, right? I mean, this could take 60 days. Well, We can't hold up this process waiting on whether that's a viable site, right? That is right. And I mean, there is the risk that it will still be in court when we need to make a decision. Yeah, there is quite possible. Um, there is that. And by the time it's all done, the landowner may say, forget it. <laughs> I don't want to give it to anybody. I want to sell it to any of you guys because you, you've taken so long and held me off, you know. So Well, it is interesting that Senior Center was way ahead of us for a long time yeah. and mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. the, the tide has turned, so. Right, right, right. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Personally, I think I'm, a, I'm in a mood to gamble and not, not include it. 
no solid reasoning, but. <laughs> so we got, you know, two people, I know you don't have a vote, but giving us an opinion is helpful, saying don't include it. I mean, I'm, I'm just hoping I'm that, that things will come, come through sooner rather than later, and, and whatever has been decided for the senior center will hold true, and therefore we won't need it to have wasted their time and our money on an extra, an yeah, extra I'm, site. I'm, can, I'm still even though it's in the courts. Huh? I'm still even though it's in the courts pretty positive that mm -hmm. it'll work this way. Yeah. Work I, I, I didn't hear the first part of what you said, Ed. What did you say about the courts? Even though it's, even in, though the it's courts. in the courts. Oh. I'm still pretty positive that it's going to work its way through and that okay. we are eligible for that ultimately oh, the decision will be build the senior center there. Well, that's the well, at least that we're eligible. <laughs> we, yes, we okay. earn the entire amount that we're supposed to okay. get from the will. Okay, is that a gut feeling? <laughs> no. Okay. It's, I would say it's an assessment of what I've seen in front of me to this point. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I make a lot of gut. Yeah. Judgments. <laughs> so I just wondered. What um, I'm going back to our first negotiations that we had with HKT on trying to modify the uh, the contract and cut down some of the scope. And one of the things we talked about was how much um, research had been done primarily on the senior center site and questioned them whether or not they could include that as part of their final report mm -hmm. with the caveat that they obtained it from the town. Mm -hmm. And they that fight, they would not be liable for it. We would assume the liability, and they they agreed mm -hmm. very verbally at that mm -hmm. point in time that they would include that existing research data mm -hmm. in their report. You know, without taking. I mean, I as an engineer always love to have my own stuff there. Sure. If they could utilize that information from. Uh, but if they include else. that in the at the abacus material in the report Correct. is that an extra twenty two hundred dollars no i think that was they would just they would agree to include the abacus engineering report as part of their report yeah, um, just like there, there was a fee associated with incorporating into it but um i'm just trying to remember back when we had the, the verbal negotiation she, and she returned the revised scope of work mm -hmm. letter i don't have it memorized but I think that was included as part of that revised scope. Well, does that does that not solve the problem? If they are willing to include in the report the well, evidence, I don't, I don't know if it does solve the problem. From what Mark just said, or you know, we're all sort of discussing. What if after they sort of evaluated all four sites, you know, I mean, in the conglomerate, uh, it turned out to be the best site. And that was their recommendation. And then, of course, Ed pointing out that the landowner might say, oh, I have a bidding war going on. Well, here. I don't yeah. think, I think we can easily withdraw. If it's, yeah. if it's been taken, it, they may determine that it is the number one site, but if Senior Center is still in limbo and we need to make a decision, or if it goes forward, mm. then it's not number one site. We go to number, we go two. To number two. Then, it, yeah. That, I, that doesn't seem problematic to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we could talk, and when they come out on Thursday, maybe we can talk a bit around this a little bit too, in terms of, you know, just clarifying the site. I don't know if she wanted an answer before they came out on Thursday. Well, she asked yeah. the question when mm -hmm. she wrote last week. Can we have that discussion without having an open meeting? Uh, no, we no, can't. Oh, no. no, we can't. No. No. So we, we have to have a contingency plan based on whatever she tells us. Mm -hmm. You know. So back to the original question, Ed. Money-wise, is this even feasible to even entertain the extra two thousand dollars, or? Oh yeah, yeah. It is. We took it out of ARPA money, and this was. Oh, less. I was going to tell them we're going to take it out of the police chief's salary. <laughs> 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 well, we took some of it anyway. Uh, we can do two or three. <laughs> and then, what about yeah. uh, you know, if we were to do it the other way, is it there's still money for that? If it's going to be eight thousand, six thousand dollars, right? Anyway, we decide if we'd make a decision. Should should be. We would have there access. Would, there would be access to funds. But if they're willing to put abacus into the abacus's assessment into the mm -hmm. um, report, yeah. that information is now there. Yeah. Um, does that not? 
I mean, just like we you just know, don't we, have, we don't have confirmation of that yet. No, them, right. We but, want to confirm. But we could, we could, could we not put that in an email to them? Vote today to put that in an email to, to Janet and Amy and say, look, we're the the foresight is address whatever. Um, I always forget. Is it eighty nine? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eighty nine Clark Street. Yeah. Um, and that is still under consideration. Certainly high consideration by the senior center. Um, it's caught up in probate at the moment, and we don't know what that result is going to be or how soon it's coming. Um, we had understood that you might be willing to take the results of the abacus, um, what did we call it, site evaluation, mm -hmm. or the abacus site evaluation report for that site and include it in your report acknowledging that it wasn't prepared by you or PAR. Um, is that true and would there be a cost to do so? Or are you can you confirm that and would there be a cost to do so or something like that then they could they could get back to us on that mm -hmm. so is that a motion yeah I'll, I'll sort of make that a motion <laughs> so you're, you're writing it out right yeah. Christina is yeah so yes yeah, so I'll move right. that we just you're contact e just email HKT before before um, before they come out here on Thursday and let them know that we're 80, 89 Clark Street is the 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 fourth location that right now we would not have them look at because of circumstances beyond everybody's control um, but if they were willing to take the results of the site evaluation that abacus did and incorporate that in the report with a disclaimer that they are not you know the ones that did it would that be acceptable I think that sort of put them up back where they originally said we'll yeah. do three sites if you want to go out to one it's twenty two hundred dollars. Right, yeah. You think that's what they're gonna say. So in order not to delay that's what she said, yeah. you know, and I was trying to yeah. re clarify what was discussed about incorporating mm -hmm. advocacy's yeah. info. Yeah. Oh, I thought you just said that they had agreed to do that. Well so that was I I'm part of our verbal discussion if I yeah. remember right. And, and, and now you were Yeah, I was on, on the, yeah, on the, on the call. But I mean we didn't nail it down and I don't remember seeing it in the written report here their proposal um, not reading that in fine print so I, th I think we should just confirm just say that in order not to delay this project we don't want to hinge ourselves to the other one you know we can't be tied <laughs> so much to the other one that we can't move forward on this one essentially so the so emails basically are sorry no, well just that our our suggestion our 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 request would be that as discussed during the negotiations that you would be willing to include the results of the site evaluation that Abacus did for 89 Clark Street in the report with a disclaimer that it was not done by HKT or PAR. And if things change, then we'll have to deal with it. <laughs> At this point, I don't know. I think I would go in that If direction. we chose it, will we still have to have an evaluation by them after the fact? If it became available. Probably so. Probably, I would think. I would if think. they were, if they were going to move forward with that, I would think that they would insist. Yeah. I don't know about emailing them now to ask that question. I, I, they, they already said if there's a fourth site, it's going to be an extra twenty-two hundred, and they already noted that they aren't going to use somebody else's engineering information. And. Well, just like we said that we're going to do certain things for public engagement or whatever we said we were going to do, something we volunteered to do. The, oh, the reports from the, the various other towns towns that you've already been, yeah. mm -hmm. they're willing to include that in the report. They've right. put that in. There's no... Okay. That's already I been... I think I may be correct. I think that was the primary um, statement that we had with, regarding the uh, reports on the other stations. The other stations. We, we would, they would agree agree to include that in there. So I'll be on this boat. Okay. Well. Oh, so you you think maybe you're um, confusing maybe, one yeah. state one offer right. for another? Okay. I think kind of made it clear uh, on their uh, when they wrote back to us uh, that they would rubber stamp. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Uh, and other engineers. Right. Yes. Uh, oh, absolutely. So they they were kind of adamant about not doing that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm second guessing that they're just going to say no. If you want a fourth thing okay. on there, it's well, going to be a 22. I'll, I'll, I'll withdraw my motion. No, no big deal. <laughs> um, so then, 
let's just tell them what the fourth site is that should not be included right now then, if that's the deal. I mean, are we agreeing that we don't want to put out the $2,200 now? Based on what we've heard. Is that a motion? <laughs> no one is questioning. I'm not you don't know to get a vote. <laughs> I think I'm in agreement we don't put out the 2200 and I'm the one that said, what the heck, play, pay the 2200 but, you know, maybe it's the wrong thing. So I'm withdrawing my, my suggestion that we could do that. So I think at this point, I would, I would move that Chair, Vice Chair, someone reach out to them and saying that right now, 89 Clark Street is the preferred site for the senior center. That would be the one that we are not asking PAR to evaluate at this point in time. Okay. I second it. Something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Open for discussion. Oh Don't have to agree with the motion. <laughs> Can amend the motion. Do we even need it? I mean. Right, because they said three, fourth if we want. But they, they've right. asked us in an email, they want to know which, if we've decided for sure, decided. which, which if, side. Was if we want to add a fourth. Yeah. And they need that answer before they do say this. Mm -hmm. before. Well, not. Not, not this Thursday, but this Thursday. Thursday. But the other one, yeah. The uh, site visits, yeah. not, not the we, scheduling, we're not programming. How reasonably are we going to, are we, when, maybe they want to do the site visit the week after. And therefore, are we going to have another meeting to have the same no. discussion again? This way we can tell them three sites. Because they, they need to schedule par. Pennywise pound foolish here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I don't know. I'm, you know. So, so marks. <laughs> what do you both think? I feel like I'm betting against the uh, senior center. <laughs> yeah. No, I just I'm gonna think I'm betting for site, it. site evaluation perspective. They've done test pits out there. They've done perk tests. They've done you know soil analysis. And I don't think there's any surprises that uh, Par is going to find on that site. That's my gut feeling. I mean, it's it's not a crazy unusual site that. Uh, been evaluated. So are you saying, Mark, that if by chance Senior Center falls through, because it's not only coming out of probate that is keeps it in limbo, it's getting through the town vote to, to spend however many millions of dollars to, to construct it. What to, what, first of all, to buy the land. Yeah, Correct. Be, wouldn't they be buying the site with the money that they get from... Yeah. Probate. Yeah, but even if they own the land, there's no guarantee that the town is going oh, right, to vote right. for a new that's senior true. center. <laughs> that's, that's correct. Yeah. But, but still, they that they would own the land. That's right. So, you're Mark, Mark Mancino. You're saying um, you're you feel like it's voting against the senior. Well, center. we're we're planning on them failing by picking the site. I mean, it, it, it's just it's. Think we'd be in a, a a terrible place if we had to have them come and do it for the site. Yeah. But I think the other sites right next to it, it's very similar. Um, you know, uh, Marmon Keystone is very similar site. It's similar, but it's a I bit more wet, I think. Yeah. yeah. It's wetter, but it's a sort of a little bit downhill from the Gilher site, right? Eighty nine. A little bit more on shape, perhaps, but. And yeah. the other thing is, I attended a few of the senior center um, feasibility study meetings, and there was this whole thing about there was some toxic waste at the back side of the Gilliher site at one point. That was the one yeah. next oh, to the other one. That was, that was to the Was that the Heritage site? To the west. Yes, yeah. yeah. up to the west. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of from the gas station. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so the question, just while we're yeah. continuing, there's a motion on the floor. We haven't voted. The question from Janet is, one other thing, has the town decided on which three sites we will be looking at? I would like PAR to start planning their work. Just answer the question. These are the three sites. That's all we need. So I will make a motion that chair, vice chair, somebody email that answer back that everything except 89 Clark Street. I will, uh, uh, and the vice chair will write that email. Okay. And so there's a motion, and I seconded it. All right. 
How does that go? That was the simple question. We're, okay. we're debating too much in terms of yeah. what they were thinking, what they were asking. That's right. At this point in time. So just we're going to tell them the three sites and then. Okay. So there's. That's what was in the proposal. So the motion made and seconded. Yep. Yeah. Any comment? <laughs> Lots of comments. <laughs> All in favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 All right. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Unanimous. And then that'll at least get them the three that they need right, to focus great. on, and you know we'll we'll cross our fingers and hope for the best. <clears> that so um, uh, Marnham is ninety one. Just. Mm -mm. No, what is it? 79, isn't it? Uh, 79 is Marvin Keystone. 79? 79 Clark. So it's zero College Highway, yeah. 210 College yeah. Highway, mm -hmm. and what did I write down? 79, 79 Clark. 79 Clark. It's actually 204 College Highway. We are? This, no. Oh, no, the first that one is? <laughs> oh, no, really? We've been saying 210 all along. Because of what happened one other time, during the Senior Center one, anytime I now refer to Zero College Highway because there's either three or four Zero College Highways in our databanks, I then clarify actually where it sits. And I think the last time I just clarified that it's kind of across from a park for over 80. Mm -hmm. Or you could just simply say that everything except 89 Clark Street. <laughs> you could do it that way too, whatever. Okay, I think that will at least answer the question. And like what you've said, I mean, that, that's their proposal. I mean, the three sites, and let's that, just do it. And we'll that's perplexing me. 79 and 89 are adjacent? Yes. Okay, thank you. They are. I don't know why, but they are. And you're going to send them. Okay. Okay, what's next? Public engagement. So, uh, can I tell you, I contacted um, uh, East Hampton Media today as a, just a quick follow-up to the conversation you and I and John Workman had with this man, Jeff Mastriani, uh, just to ha remind him uh, about that conversation. He is, he used to work in Brattleboro, I guess, and he did something like this for another public safety building said it was a long process. Um, he's ready to maybe meet with you and whomever the fire department person is going to be um, to just kind of talk through what would be possible and he would make concise videos. What he really needs to know from us is what is our message. I mean I know what I would say but I want to know what the committee would, he wants to know what what is the message we want to convey with these short um, really clear videos, how would we present that to him? And would these just be things that would be flashing on channel 191, which not a lot of people get these days? I, I didn't ask him that, but maybe it would be a video, video that would be available to be linked by our website. Yeah, or um, YouTube video or something. Or YouTube. Because I mean, um, not everybody tunes into channel 191. Okay, well that could be a question to ask, but in terms of just making the video, what is the message? What are the three top bullet points we want to make sure is conveyed? Space, functionality, space inadequacy, and, and safety. Um, function, uh, reduced functionality, or in a, uh, incomplete or unable to be functional. The, the, the functions of the, the current you know buildings don't function as 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 actual public safety buildings. Not functional. Right. That was an old schoolhouse, and that was a town hall. Mm -hmm. Okay. As public safety buildings, and then safety, and safety. of and, both and the media. citizens and the and, staff. And, and the staff, the fire staff and police, more so the fire staff with their building. And both staff, really, mm -hmm. but okay, staff, okay. And to be, you know, code, you know, we're not compliant with codes. Code issues. Well, so, you, oh, I'm sorry. So no. I was just going to say, I think the overall message should be how um, substandard, how critical it is to have uh, a new facility. I also think it could, uh, could be noted that with the facilities we have, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I would think it would be very hard to find um, police 
officers and firefighters who would want to come to take a position here. Mm -hmm. We need to yeah. improve this so that yeah. we get job app or mm -hmm. uh, yeah. job app morale. Yeah. Professionalism. No, it is. You know, it's the it face of the, the departments. Mm -hmm. yeah. morale and professionalism. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, do you want to wait till after the site visit to have him come out and talk with you about m making these? Wait as far as after Thursday? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gonna be tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, well, night night. We only have two other days. So, uh, uh, yes. We all schedule something. I'll call him though. Yeah, right. Actually, I'm gonna have him call you directly. What, yeah. Yeah. Or email. Give him my email. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, good. Okay. So that, and then you can ask the question about, or we can ask him when we, when we meet with him, what, what is he going to do? Is he going to just post it on 191, or it could be a YouTube, or could it be a link that we can use? Like you remember Janet saying, in other communities, in the police chief ran around with his laptop and he was able to call up and show pictures and, you know, if. if Mm -hmm. This would tell a story, mm -hmm. then, and that's really what you want to do is tell a story, right? That's one of the things we mentioned that I, one of the things I think we ought to start doing is gathering some photos of the stations and their poor shape. <laughs> I know we've had them in various places at different presentations over time, but it would be nice to have a maybe a more recent set of photos and just you know show the lack of space. And I think probably you know um, reaching out to the reminder, the Gazette. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know Spectrum News called me last week, left a message mm -hmm. to talk about this specifically, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to call Richard him back. Thomas. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I never reached out to him as of yet because I wanted to have this meeting mm -hmm. first. And, you know, I think it's more important for if he's going to talk about the public safety meeting, I think it's very important that he also go to the fire department. Mm -hmm. I think that fire department is very compelling for anybody oh, yeah. in town yeah, to absolutely. see what their working conditions yeah. are in. Yeah. Well, I mean, you see the, the spaces <laughs> on either side of the fire right. trucks. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 well, it's an terrible. occupational hazard, it really yeah. is. The, um, <clears throat> there have been two uh, site evaluations done. Er, well, well, there's been one done on each of these buildings. The Historical Commission had one done here on the uh, fi fire station a few years ago. I wonder if there are some, fo I'll, I have a copy of that. There mm -hmm. may be photographs in mm -hmm. that. And, and then the evaluation that um, Hill did, well, Hill did both of them. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the evaluation, the, the structural evaluation mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. what oh, they were. Oh, uh, well, on both. It was a structural evaluation of both, but there might be, mm -hmm. I know for the police station there was certainly <coughs> Mm -hmm. photographs of some of the bad interior yeah. conditions. Yeah, and the, I think the only thing with that is we'd probably have to reach out and, well, I don't know, I think we'd have to reach out and just get permission to use the photos differently, wouldn't we? Probably. Oh, maybe. Since it's so their, it's their photos. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about, we're going to need photos if we're going to be doing PowerPoints and mm -hmm. presentations to the town meeting and mini focus groups or whatever we're going to do around town. I think we need to have a you know, start thinking about a slideshow of some sort that we need to right. do, and we might need to just put some of our own stuff together. Okay. Too. You know, as a thought, but I mean, it, right. it might, no, it might be. No, you, you brought up a valid might, point, and we may just, not be able to use those images. It may be so. another step to go through that we can Which avoid. we don't need. So who can take those pictures? Do you want the, the staff to take pictures? Or, um, I know you're a good photographer. Uh, would you take pictures? or? Hmm iPhones do a pretty good job. Yeah, I mean days. iPhones. I mean anybody with their iPhone, I think could, could okay. do some. I mean, I don't know what you guys have got for photos. Do you take photos in your oh, yeah. and stuff? So I mean, you probably have some. Yeah. So we could take photos. Yeah, take okay. a couple yeah. of before the the cornice blocks are taken down mm -hmm. to <laughs> show what a hazard they are. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. When do we um? When do we want to start preparing? Well, you know, preparing for. You know, um, the public engagement, or do how? When do we want this to start? She said ASAP. She yeah. said begin at least preparing for sure. Yeah. Right. I'm thinking even thinking about scheduling. School's going to begin in three days, two days. 
um, you know, start thinking about scheduling things. Uh, how do we reach certain demographics of our population? We know that um, a third of our population, and that our total population is 6,200, and a third of that is seniors. Um, half of the voting population is seniors. Um, how do we reach the younger families or the newer families that don't necessarily get involved in town stuff right now? They might be new residents and just I think the best way to reach them is social media. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's certain sites for Norse families. Um, I know youth sports um, mm -hmm. handouts at some of the youth sports. Yeah. I mean, it's a crazy in the beginning of no, all, all, all the youth sports going on, all the soccer games. And, right. Literally. Um, so are you talking about creating like a brochure? A brochure, I mean, just to have people, I mean, that's a way to get the word out. Maybe announcing the meeting, we mm -hmm. haven't figured out what the meeting is yet, but mm -hmm. announcing a meeting. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. We've talked a little bit about having, you know, just two or three or four, maybe tour days, you know, for mm -hmm. the public to yeah. come and visit and actually mm -hmm. take a look and, and do that. So I think, you know, fall seems like a great time to try and fit a couple of those in. Maybe a couple in the fall and a couple in the spring or something like that. I mean, right. I don't know, but, um, well, spring is far away. <laughs> Come as far as publications, <laughs> both the school and the senior center have regular publications that go out. The school has, I don't know what they call it, the Norse News or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, we can, I can call, it's Mickey Carmichael who, you know, works in the office there that she knows the dates of the publications. I can at least call them and find out when she's going to put out one. Or they yeah, she's, gonna, they're willing to do it too, right? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Are they willing to? I think, you know, for the younger generations, I think social media is mm -hmm. probably the, the mean. That's that's how it seems to be. Everyone gets mm -hmm. their news. And when you say social media, do you mean I Facebook? I mean Facebook. Yes, Facebook, and mm -hmm. it's all about sharing the Facebook. And messages. then there's and I, I am not using it, so I don't know. But is there also Instagram? Instagram? Insta, what do they call it? Instagram? Insta, I uh, use. I and, only have Facebook. And I, then there's always a debate on there, isn't there? Isn't that part of the problem? There is. In there my is. Opinion? Yeah. So I, are we ready to mm -hmm. su support the debate mm -hmm. online? You don't engage in the debate personally. That's my philosophy. Yeah. You never engage in these debates because the people that are debating is about four or five people in town. That's it. On these, you the know, same people. The same people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are um, they but you make a, you make a valid point. They, yeah. You make a valid point. I mean, if some one of those individuals says some extremely inane thing, that's gonna, you know, maybe be taken seriously by people. You don't, you don't have to debate them, but you can give them a link or some some source that would correct the information so that everybody okay. can access whatever that is. Okay. You okay. wouldn't have to join in and say, well, no, you you know, you don't know what you're talking about, but, you know, for, for further information, suggest you check out X, you know, kind of thing. But what I was about to say, there's a there's a parent-teachers group, I think, um, or there's, well, there's a PTO, obviously, but there's a, there's a parent's there's a parents' uh, Facebook group at Norris that I think Dan LaValle has been involved in, or Dylan, one or the other. Um, so we can e easily do it via the kids, at, you know, through the parents there. But library newsletters, I mean, there's, you know, two or three different organizations have got newsletters in town. But I think, I, you know, trying to think about a public safety visit day would be great yep. somehow. I, we can coordinate that. Yeah. I, can, I can reach out to the interim fire chief. Mm -hmm. Or maybe pick, yeah, it'd be great. Maybe pick a couple of dates yeah. and see what would work and get a... Um, as far as the newspapers that you mentioned, the Reminder and the Gazette, um, sometimes they don't accurately put down what we say. And you've had, I've had that experience. You know, they kind of twist it for... It's not 100% accurate. We have to sort of pay for a public, say, a public announcement that is in the words we want to use versus just being interviewed. I don't know if that's anyone else's experience here. But yeah. Wait, yeah, I agree that notoriously inaccurate. Mm -hmm. We have a new reporter for the Gazette now. We don't have Emily Thurlow anymore. Oh, Emily's we have a new gone. one for town. But what I've done in the past for the few things that I've done is just to agree to be interviewed, but then I've, I've essentially written them most of what I wanted to say 
and given it to them ahead of time and so they can just ask questions off of that and essentially they end up using what I've written oh, mostly. Oh, that's great. Because <laughs> I asked to be, uh, I asked Most to read it. Okay, draft. What you've done in the past, I mean, uh, how you've done and it. And the intern yeah. let me read it and I found that you don't do No, that they don't. Journalism. They won't let you read it. Well, the intern let me. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. Uh, they typically give a press release. Press release. Yes, yes. 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 press release, yeah. right. If you want to ask questions right. relative to that, right. 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 Yeah. Um, okay, good. But I forget, I forget what topic must have been something with the Greenway or something, I don't know, but I, I ended up writing up the majority of it and said, yeah, sure, I'll be glad to answer questions, but they basically took pretty much what I wrote oh, and good. put it in. Well, that's good. So, I mean, you know, it's always a risk, but... Do we want, do you want anybody to reach out to Spectrum? Because I think it, if that's the case, it just... Who contacted you? Is um, it? I, the name, the reporter escapes me, but... He's, he's gonna, he wants to align it so that he does the interview with you, Fazoli, and me mm -hmm. all on the same day. Yep. Okay. Is that something that you know works? Sure. Why not? Is and it where is will it, that be? Yeah, I was going to say, is that just is that going to be like a story that runs for fifteen or twenty minutes, or is it that little spot when you turn on your TV if you happen to be subscriber to set Spectrum, mm -hmm. and it's only like thirty seconds? That's you know? what it is, I think. I don't have Spectrum, so I can't. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> well, I don't either, but we, you know, we did it last year with the Good Earth Gardening Group, and that lovely gentleman came out, spent. Two hours with us, asked us a hundred questions, took all this film, everything, 30 seconds, and he <laughs> didn't do anything that we said. I mean, it wasn't a make or break kind of thing versus this. This has got to be really the right thing. We want the right message. So that's all I'm going to tell mm -hmm. you about Spectrum. Um, but so maybe. if it's 30 seconds, is it worth the effort even? Is it worth your time? He was with us for hours. So oh, I don't think he'd be with us for hours. We'd no. probably get questions. We'd probably have about story. 10 minutes of questions and he'd be, he'd be filming the, uh, Good luck. Mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> the buildings. We went to four sites and he must have had a nice day. You know, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, I, think, I think any publicity we can get out there, we may as well start doing. Yeah, All right, why not? fine. Yeah. 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 Yep. All right. But I think if you guys can, you and Chief Fasoli can, can work with uh, couple of dates maybe for a public safety day that would mm -hmm. be great and what we had said in our minutes since so I'm reading that maybe we can get an ice cream truck or something to uh, attract pollen people to I come did you say to the tour it's in the minutes <laughs> oh you said it that's right we can find somebody around I'm sure that's right possibly with an ice cream truck so, so basically, you and the chiefs are going to come up with a good day. Is that the idea? Yeah. Two Relative days. to tours, you're referring to, yeah. or tours? Yes. Tours. Yeah. For tours yeah. and call it a public safety day, or is that different, Chris? What do you propose? No, I'm I'm reading from the minutes, Cindy. So it said public safety day, <laughs> plan a okay. public safety day, All right. and then plan for small group tours or open house events. So I guess it could be you know different. Things, I think if you plan it as a public safety day, it's, it's going to require a lot more than just yes. tours. So I yeah. think okay. we should just yeah. stick yeah. to a tours. Okay. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, tours right. anyway. Yeah. Okay. Is um, Jude and Dave putting on the marquee? Uh, yep. Uh, here and also up at the corner of Palmer and Meadow. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we could do that. Yep, yeah, we can certainly do that. Advertise a date and it can be left up for quite a while. So yeah. The yeah. one here yeah. is, this one down here is the Lions, Lions. Club. Yep. And yep. the one up at the corner is the Mother's Club. And mm -hmm. um, I'm always calling her. Muriel Belander. Muriel Belander. Yeah, and uh, I called mm -hmm. her this morning. So mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we can, we have to kind of like pinpoint when we want to get that message up and hold it. Yeah. Uh, so they just need to figure out some possible dates that would make sense to, to do okay. it. And, you know, we've got our flashing movable signs too that mm -hmm. we can throw out. So we can. <laughs> Yeah. You are speeding, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, turn, turn right into the police station and get your ticket here. <laughs> and I can con contact Bob Cosa about the lion sign. He doesn't do that anymore. It's um, John Lumbro. Correct. But, uh, the Jim, elder John Lumbro. Jim, 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 Jim Lumbro. Yeah. John Lumbro. So I don't know him. Yeah, Bob's not doing it. Yeah. Bob gave over that task. That a good thing. He's mm -hmm. done. I'll give it to you later if you want. Yeah. But you know Bob, I know you do. That's, I can give you your numbers number or I can make the call. Well, if you go and go for Very it. Very well, but I, I, I will be happy to make okay. the call. Yeah. So once we know some dates, we can okay. figure that out. Okay. All right. All right. <coughs>
Okay. And if you would excuse me, I need to make it to a wake. Oh, oh, yeah. no. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah. I'll catch you tomorrow. I'll be here. Okay. And <laughs> we'll remember to turn it off this time. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah, sure. and I'll lock up. Nobody's here? Or anybody else coming in tonight? Okay, okay I'll lock up. And just, you're going to have to open the two doors and close them at the same time. Okay. The other one actually closed. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, she's here. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> so the other thing was other responsibilities to complete the feasibility study. We said we were going to do the comparative um, aspect of it, other towns. Mm -hmm. Is it too soon to start thinking about that? Um, how are we going to go about doing that? Well, what do we have? Or do we have anything written up already from your visits out to those places? Only minutes. If we did, I mean, you could have the minutes and at least circulate the minutes and we could work at putting something together from those minutes that might be usable, I don't know. Mm. How detailed are the minutes, no? I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't know they're some. pretty detailed, but I don't yeah. know. Uh, is that the only two sites, though? Should we be looking at different sites? Well, we can start there, at least. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's take a step at a time. Let's pull those two sites okay. together. And what two sites are you looking at? You're talking about uh, Granby and Hat Hadley. And Hadley. Those are the ones you visited? Yeah. I went to, uh, I actually was at a meeting with some of the Williamsburg police officers and they said that uh, their building has significant flaws, unfortunately. Who is this? Williamsburg. Uh, Williamsburg. Really? Yeah. They actually had to do adjustments afterwards because their garage bay was so small. There was yeah. a lot, lot of... And you go by of, there and... Yeah. There's a lot It's of, not even open yet, No, right? no, no, but yeah. there's, a, there's some significant flaws in it. Yeah. And did we eliminate or include West Hampton? It's a brand new facility mm -hmm. and it's close by. Mm -hmm. I think we should just. Yeah. It's newly, not, newly not, built. not similar to what we were kind of wanting. It's extremely small. Like, for instance, yeah. the police department they have like side. Five of it. bays already. For the fire department, they have. It's a good sized bay area, but as far as its um, interior, the, the upstairs is, is undone. I don't have It's undone. Um, they left it unfinished, so when they do have money, they might incorporate that for other town offices as well. Does but it seem worthwhile for us to? I, I really don't think it does. <laughs> I don't, especially for the police department, I can tell you that much. It has okay. a nice training room. Um, the police department it consists of maybe two rooms. Okay, mm -hmm. well, let's make it valuable comparisons and make sense. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we should include Williamsburg, Bill? Or? I, um, I don't, I don't, I. I don't know because you know Williamsburg is also significantly smaller, but I haven't seen Williamsburg. So all I know is from the conversation that I, that we had last mm -hmm. week, they uh, identified that there's been significant problems with mm -hmm. it. Unfortunately, have they moved in completely no. at this point? No. Oh, no. no. okay. Hmm. How did that happen? But some some design flaws. I don't. I don't. Oh. Uh, in particular, they're talking about the sally port of the garage bays and so forth and certain yeah, rooms. Heard that. Yeah. Mm. Since we were going to include a narrative for them to roll, HKT to roll into their, uh, should we start a narrative and roll it around and have people sort of add comments? Or, um, You're talking we about have, for the comparatives? Comparisons? Right. Mm -hmm. that, that is a product that we are going to hand yeah. to HKT, right. which they are going to incorporate into their final report. So mm -hmm. it seems like it needs to get started. So I know if it mm -hmm. even starts out with one page or two opening lines is so like to build on it. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right from the get-go, I had sort of questioned or wondered what purpose it's going to serve. My understanding was it was to convince the populace that we are not in good shape. We're, we're, we're way below surrounding similar communities. Other communities around us have these facilities which are head and shoulders above ours, and we're not asking for the time at all. We're asking for something that's functional, mm -hmm. that functions for a town similar to ours. I mean, if we compare what we have to what Ramby and Hadley have, it's, it's mm -hmm. night and day, and why can't we at least have? And our population is mm -hmm. greater than both of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Yeah. So, okay, so it's, it's really uh, looking at the other facilities as assets rather than uh, assessing those buildings comparatively to what we want, because there were what, flaws what, this, in both of them. Yeah, this is what we have, this is what sure. Hadley has, and this is what Granby has, yes. and we want to get at least somewhere up there. Right, but I think, but I think that though, <laughs> excuse me, I mean, I think the idea of, of being able to compare 
and relate to the residents that okay we've, we've taken you know we've done our due diligence we've gone out we've seen this we've heard from the fire and the police at, at you know right. town x y and z here and you know these are the things that they learned and we're, we're trying to learn from them and maybe right. there was a mistake or two and we've tried to you know hear about that and, and you know we're working mm -hmm. to not make the same right. the same mistake i mean i think there's value in, in learning about what what isn't going as well as they had hoped too with their design i mean everything looks wonderful on paper right but some days it doesn't always translate into the real reality by the time you're done with it you know so i think looking at some of the features maybe there was a great feature that we hadn't thought of in mm -hmm. what we were thinking about that you saw on somebody else's station that would make sense uh, and then there's other things that maybe are just extraneous and or other things that were very problematic for whatever reason yeah. in some of these other stations um, so I, I think all of that should get started as soon as we can figure out how to do it and, and to the extent we've got minutes from a couple of site visits you did I think mm -hmm. that would be a starting point at least for yeah. for some of us who weren't involved in that anyway and just circulate those for well, the next meeting there they're all on my town government, um, but if you want, we can make copies. Or just it's email them. Or I can, email. I can make copies and email them out to everybody for at least looking at. That's yeah. fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you, have you been to some of the more, the larger, the cities in the area? Like Springfield or Westfield? Oh, I've, or I've been Hampton. to some. Some of them, you know, I actually, I was a, an assessor for accreditation, so I've been to, I used to evaluate police departments mm -hmm. myself. Um, and I've been to several police departments, you know, mm -hmm. for as an assessor for for the uh, Massachusetts Police Accreditation. Okay, so um, so I that's great. I mean, is, as an assessor, do you have a checklist of things that you look for? Um, there are some physical through the accreditation process. There are some physical necessities that yes. Okay. However, um, it's you don't need, for instance, not required to have a Sally port. I see. It's not, you know, you don't have to have a certain, it's about more of the security. For instance, you have to have certain means to secure evidence. Mm -hmm. And there has to be double security for jewelry and money in your evidence locker and drugs. So there's, it's that kind of thing. Okay, so do you think HKT, because they came with this background expertise, they should have that kind of data. They should have that type of checklist available. So that's a minimum that they would... They should have, as far as, they should have accreditation standards, you know, because okay. that's ultra, or they should be aware of them, because... Do we need to mention that to them? I think we do, I think we should. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I think ultimately, especially with the uh, direction, I think policing and is, is, I'm speaking specifically policing, um, accreditation might sooner or later become a requirement for every department. It's not a requirement, oh. but um, it may be at some point. But we should, that is a goal we want. We want to be able to be accredited. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And we want to make sure the facility has the ability to be accredited. Mm -hmm. okay. But we can be accredited through, you know, we could be accredited, but we want to make sure that our facility is, is compliant with some of the accreditation standards. Okay, so I think that needs to be mentioned. Mm -hmm. We have a chance to tell them. And what, do, what does the accreditation get us in terms of other things? Does it help us qualify for grant money, for example? Um, well, I can tell you this much. For instance, um, there are certain requirements that you, that fall under Massachusetts accreditation standards for federal grants right now, federal grants, um, that would make us ineligible. Yeah. Um, there are, and there, it, accreditation might also assist in uh, insurance Mm. Um, and it also, it's, it's somebody else looking over it. it, it basically what happens, is besides the physical building, which is not exactly the, the priority of, of accreditation, it's more, more of the standards, right? Mm -hmm. You have to have a certain amount of, you have to have certain standards. They don't tell you what's, they tell you what standards you have to have, but they don't dictate what the standard, mm -hmm. what is the language of the standard, but you have to have certain standards. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for instance, this is outside this meeting, but just for an example, you have to have, for instance, a pursuit policy, right? You have to have an outline pursuit policy, and you have to have so many elements in this pursuit policy, but they're not going to tell you whether or not you can pursue, right? <laughs> when it comes down to the building, they say you have to have uh, a secured evidence room where you have to have uh, a separate security within your evidence room for drugs, jewelry, and money. Um, and those are all things that you have to meet to comply mm -hmm. with uh, 
mm -hmm. you have to comply but with. But how big that is or where that is or where that, that's right. really up to you. Yeah. yeah. Discretion. Interesting. Would that be um, another point to be made through East Hampton Media that, that we need a facility that can be accredited? You don't is not, that a selling? There's, it, we don't want to use the word. We would like to be accredited. We want to make sure our facility meets the standards. Well, well, that's, that's a goal. Is that a message a that goal. we need to convey sure. to the public mm -hmm. through East? Uh, one of the points that right. would be beneficial. At to this point, it's just not required. Right. Yeah, right. So, so we want to make sure we, the, we use the right language when right. we say it. Right. right. The goal is yeah. accreditation uh, uh, standards, so not necessarily requirements. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What's that? Meet accreditation standards, and not necessarily right. Mm -hmm. Right. That would be a goal. Yeah. All right, I'll write that down. Yeah, okay. Is the facility now able to be accredited if you would you be able to put the things in place in the facility we have now? So we, we tried to meet a lot of the standards regardless of right. our accreditation standards and you know to be quite candid with you I have not looked at the standards in a while because I haven't been an assessor in a while but for instance our evidence room which is really a closet um, we, yes mm -hmm. we have separate safes in there for <laughs> okay when I say safes, they're lock and keys. <laughs> yeah, lock it, box. It, it, yeah, <laughs> cash box for cash and for jewelry mm -hmm. and, and and drugs. So, and the purpose for that is, if for some reason the the evidence door was unsecure, yeah. then no one could go in there and take money, drugs, or jewelry. Mm -hmm. Right. Don't lose the keys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So my question back to this is, <clears throat> should we be viewing any of these other stations? Like, even though they have probably, like, Westfield probably has two I don't, I don't know if you need to, and this is what I, and this is something that I wrote up in, in the report here, is we have the same, every police department, every fire department has the same functions, right? Right. It's just, we're at a smaller scale. Okay. For instance, we don't need an evidence room the size of this. But Springfield does, but we still need an evidence room. I see. We don't need an evidence processing room um, that is the size of this, but we still need an evidence processing room. Right. Um, the administrative tasks, whether you're Springfield or whether you're Southampton PD, are the same. Okay. We, the functions are the same across the state. It's just we're just a smaller version of it. Mm -hmm. I think I, in fact, I think that was my last sentence in this report was specifically. This is my last sentence. Mm -hmm. The South Hampton Police Department is an independent law enforcement agency that necessitates the, the same functional needs, spaces, and facilities as larger police departments, but in a smaller package. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. So is that, are you addressing that on page two also when you say to potentially assume the law enforcement component of a smaller jurisdiction? I didn't quite know what you meant. Uh, what I meant by that is if we ever wanted to regionalize with a smaller neighboring community, we'd, we'd be able to, right? So let's say, West Hampton, one of or Montgomery or somewhere, yeah. one of these other oh. smaller communities oh. needed a law enforcement agency and we wanted to to cover that Oh, agency. oh, so to add to, okay, right. got it. Right. Assume or add. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Hmm. Okay. Just as an aside here, how frequently do you, f does Southampton not have the capacity to handle the unexpected bad crime. Do you have to call in help from, I know police, fire department, that's so, another issue, I'm talking about police department. Really, the only law that requires an outside entity is, is homicide or unattended deaths, right? Oh, okay. So, um, and that's the, under the jurisdiction of the DA's office. Right. So, yes, for any unattended death or, um, what I mean by unattended death, a death that's outside of hospital care. Um, that isn't under hospice. That's not under hospice. Yes, then yeah. we have to contact the DA's office. Okay. So we generally um, process all our, our, our own crimes, right? Um, however, we certainly seek assistance in situations, forensics of computers, for instance. Okay. That's computer crimes are very significant. Mm -hmm. And because um, information technology is changing so often, we can't keep up with that both financially, the programs financially, um, and the training. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of the larger departments, we send a lot of our stuff to Northampton Police Department mm -hmm. that we need to when we need to. Okay. 
very interesting, and I shouldn't be going on that nope. track right nope. now in this meeting because we got to keep going here. Yeah, but probably <coughs> we're at nine yeah. and six o'clock. Yeah. So, um, can, can I bring up one other topic, um, and that's the report that the select board is asking of all boards and committees on a, I don't know mm -hmm. periodic basis, and you shared with us the email that came from Ed right. saying, um, and I. We have to start thinking of some of the questions that were asked. I, maybe we should just hold off to another let's, meeting on let's this. Let's talk about that for another meeting. I don't remember when you guys are scheduled, but it October. can't be until October. It is think. October. Early yeah. October. But yeah. it just, there were some questions that has to be discussed, so we'll wait. Yeah, you can meet again. Yeah, but just, yeah. Okay. Because it was, yeah. Okay. They're, they're not, and again, it's, it's, it's just to keep the select board informed of what's, what the progress is, what's going on, what are the kind of problems and issues that, that committees are having in there. Okay. They're the yeah. daily thing. So what's up? Been, I've been submitting every three months the ARPA reports. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, is that something just to follow up similar to that? Uh, yeah. I mean, that that's for the ARPA thing itself. But these were, you know, specific things just talking about, you know, some of the challenges that, that the particular committee was facing, you know, what was the progress on what had been done as tasks and what was going to be the plans, what are the plans for the next three months or six months or whatever. Um, those kinds of focal points were part of the... Uh, Part of the discussion there's half a dozen questions that were sent out as kind of a guide to yeah, pulling the report together that was on the bottom end of the schedule of the things chris just said okay of the things that should be in the report but that's right. good we can yeah. wait yeah i think i there's no real hurry because we've got <coughs> several meetings before you guys come up i think anyway yeah okay so, but we're trying to do it with all the all the various departments as well as as many committees as we can at least once a year that they come before the select board just give us an update about what's going on that's it so I think that can wait. Okay. Any other business? Here we are. Next yeah, um, I, I don't know if you know, but I uh, would like to submit my resignation as chair. I'd like to stay on the committee. I have some personal health issues I have to address, which is sort of hinders my ability to properly function as chair. Not necessarily in, in here, but as a uh, in interim time between, so I'd like to suggest that we temporarily um, have um, Christina act as chair. I would like to resign as chair, but like to continue and then maybe suggest for our next meeting that uh, we go for a uh, segment of officers for the uh, for the committee. We're sorry to hear that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah. mostly very for glad your health. You would, for your yeah. health. Yeah. yeah, but very glad that you'd like to stay with the committee. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Your expertise is really important. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. But are you suggesting that she be the temp or for now anyway, and then hold off and vote on a permanent um, chair at another meeting? Is that what you're um, proposing? I mean, we put it on the agenda for make sure that it's on the agenda for next meeting is to establish who's going to be the chair and the co-chair. Okay, because we're not I mean, I can continue as, as chair mm -hmm. until something officially happens. I'm just, uh, I'm just saying that I have a, uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's some health issues which are sort of preventing me from doing it, I think, effectively. So okay. I'd like mm -hmm. to make sure that doesn't uh, encumber progress yeah. of the committee. Yeah, but it, it's not a temporary resignation as chair. It's, it's uh, it, I, yeah, I mean, well, maybe, hopefully, maybe evaluate in a couple months. Okay, fine. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, you could, you know, uh, you could function with an interim chair, too. I think I've seen committees do that without actually electing a new chair, but it depends what the groups would like to do. Well, why, if you think maybe you could resume, because certainly you're a valuable chair, if you wanted it to just be a, a wait and see so that you could step back into it, um, that that sounds like a reasonable yeah. tool. Yeah, my, my issue is a lot of things happen between meetings, <laughs> which the chair is responsible for, and I so have not been following through on those mm -hmm. as well as I would like to. And uh, I want to make sure that doesn't fall through the cracks somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that's my only concern. I need somebody to pick up responsibilities of the chair between meetings to make sure that is not falling into the cracks. And I will say that Christina and Chris and uh, Cindy have been doing a great job of picking up my slack. <laughs> well, <laughs> so shall we move to accept his at least temporary resignation as chair? Sure, we can always be elect, but. Uh, <laughs> well, I would, I, I would suggest saying replace or uh, uh, 
using the phrase interim. And, and also, uh, the second part of the motion could be ask Christ or move to have Christina be the interim chair. Is that what you said? But then additionally, I would like to see if um, Chief Ellingsworth would assist me in that. As co-chair. As co-chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. If uh, the committee agrees to that, I'd, I'd be amenable to that, sure. So should I modify my motion <laughs> to say we accept your resignation as chair temporarily? Um, and I don't see. I would it not. I don't think it'd be called a resignation. No. Okay. Uh, but temporary um, stepping away. Yeah, uh, stepping uh, away. Hiatus from chair. Yeah. How about hiatus? Yeah. Um, from yeah. chair. Okay. And uh, the second part is to nominate two interim co-chairs, Christina Manson and Chief Ellingsworth. How's that sound? Okay. I'll second that. Two interims. I think what actually what would be interesting, given that a lot of this is, I mean, it's really police and fires, you know, big responsibility here to get this. I mean, you guys need it the most. I mean, it would seem very appropriate for you to be in a leadership role here to help guide this, and not not let some of us that really don't know all the details be the mm -hmm. ones driving the boat here. So I, I think that would be fine to okay. to suggest that if you're willing to do that to be a co-chair, I think that would be great for a while. Right. See how it goes for for a few months, and then if you're ready to step back in, we can take yeah. a look at that later on. Yeah. I, it's great you're going to stay on the committee, though, Mark. I think it's yeah. good. Yeah. And I hope you can step back. I hope your yeah. health improves so <laughs> yes. you can step yeah. back into yeah. the position. But before I'm, I'm going, so that everyone is included here, Mark, I'm going to yeah. ask you, do you have any interest in being a co-chair with the chief? I, I don't. I, uh, <clears throat> I'm having a hard time making it to the meetings and, uh, I'm trying to make it to the meetings because I know we're kind of a small group and mm -hmm. forget any smaller than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. 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 Like to, if, I, if I can be of help someplace, I'd be happy to, but uh, I don't think uh, that would be... Uh, you could certainly fill the shoes, but that, that's fine. I just wanted <laughs> to make sure that if you had an interest that you weren't being overlooked. Right. I, I don't feel that I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm fine the way things are at this point. And, uh, okay. I don't know if I can do, uh, I'm afraid I may, if I take on more, I may not be able to do it mm -hmm. properly mm -hmm. with the time. Yeah, and that's partly my concern, and that's why I could use some help. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seem okay? Yeah. Okay, so we have a motion right now. I think now. we have a motion. And a yeah. Second, second, do we? To, uh, and you have a second. You have seconded it, it, so any further discussion? Can we even vote? Right. I don't know if we can, because we have to abstain. No, you don't. No, you don't. No. You don't? No. 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 I vote. Yeah, I voted. All in favor of that we accept Mark's temporary uh, hiatus as chairperson and nominate two co-chairs, specifically Chief Illingsworth and Christina Matson. And it's been made and seconded. Mm -hmm. All in favor. Okay. Aye. 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 Great. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, we appreciate Can we it's move to, uh, I guess oh, what, yeah. they're we need a birthday party meeting. for me tonight. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Is it yeah. your birthday today? Uh, no, Is next week. Is other people on vacation or something? Is that why? I know that um, John O'Shea said he, he was, was going to be up town. on Mount Washington or somewhere, wasn't yeah. he? Or something mm -hmm. that uh, I don't know. Charlie had been away, but I don't know if he's back. Yeah. He was in Alaska, right? Correct. Um, and Chief Vasily, I thought, might come, but I but he's not on the committee. He's not technically on the committee. I mean, John Workman John. is still. And he's away. And he's away, but maybe the next meeting he might be able and to. And we come, still so. don't have a finance or a historical. And you're, no. the situation with the non-ability to make a quorum of historical is the holdup right now. Right. Well, 
Okay, so next meeting possibility today is the 28th. Two weeks out would be the 11th. Is that... What? I, okay. Wow. I don't know how frequently you guys have been meeting. I'm just throwing that data. Yeah. Every couple of weeks, yeah. Um, that's fine. Uh, the question is, what are we going to talk about at that point? Are, we can do the follow-up of yeah. the public engagement. We can do the follow-up of plans to do the comparative looks at the mm -hmm. other departments, and maybe HKT will have something for us at that point. After having, maybe they can tell us what's going on for phase two. Between now and then, it. It, there is the possibility that uh, East Hampton Media will be in touch with that's right, mm -hmm. Chiefs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe there will be. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I think yeah. I mean, to get to get going on some of the public engagement kinds of things, especially if if between fire and police departments they can start taking a few photos, that would be great. But if we have some newspaper coverage, that's good. But I guess I'm thinking about multiple photos so that we could actually you know prepare a. You know, prepare a presentation ourselves to show whomever as we have these little focus group meetings or whatever we decide to do around town. Okay, so next meeting at 9 11, 7 uh, oh, 4 uh, 11. I didn't even think of that. And we'll, um, <laughs> Not a good yes, Let's is that a problem? Seriously, well, I don't know. Being a 9 11. We're at 20 years that day. Now. My gosh. Gosh, is right. Mm -hmm. I'm not available that day, but that's. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody said days and they couldn't make it. Yeah. Is the 18th any better? That's the following one. Yeah, good for 18th. Good for the 18th. Um, I had six o'clock meeting, but that's okay. Conservation Commission. Um, why don't we do 9/11 though? Let's let's yeah, stay that's, with that, that and, okay. and because others may be available. Yes, yeah, so I, I would hope that. Uh, yeah. Is that okay with you? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. I actually the following week is going to be hard for me because okay. I'm training that week. So. Okay. So 9/11. Okay, how about you, Christine? Is that good for you? 9-11? And you, Mark? Okay. And Chris? Yep. Okay. okay. All right. So and on the agenda, we will keep the, uh, will we discuss again the responsibilities to complete the feasibility study? I guess we have to, that's, we keep going on that, yes. Yeah, as well as the public engagement. Yeah, because we're kind of on the Okay. So essentially, the agenda will be uh, this, the very same because we will be discussing the HKT site visit if there are at least to learn well chief you'll want to report how that went right mm -hmm. to, to us so essentially the uh the agenda will be the same okay great and, and i i can post those and the other thing um which we sort of didn't talk about we should talk about next time is a website presence you know on the town website for the public safety board. and we can put pictures on that mm -hmm. and we can put our charge and we can put certain things on that we can be looking for. I'm looking at you because you know I'm going to need the help. Mm -hmm. But I, I asked for the access to work on that. You know, that's all internal as far as access working on the town website. Okay, so same agenda. Okay, very good. All right. I move to adjourn. Yeah. Second. Second. Okay. Okay. It looks like unanimous. Right. All right. Six, yeah. fourteen. Six, fourteen. Six, fourteen. Six, fourteen. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.